South Korea's unification ministry sees that North Korea has more or less achieved an upgrade in its nuclear and missile capabilities this year, and that it may seek a negotiation with the U.S. next year as a nuclear state. Tired of international military pressure and economic sanctions, the regime might look for a way out, which is why eyes are on Kim Jong-un's New Year's speech. Oh Jung-hee has more. North Korea has made some progress in developing its nuclear and missile capabilities this year. And next year, the regime may seek to be recognized as a nuclear state and negotiate with the U.S. That's the South Korean Unification Ministry's evaluation and outlook on North Korea. The ministry says Pyongyang has enhanced its nuclear capabilities and missile range through September's nuclear tests and multiple missile launches this year. But the ministry says it's still unclear whether the regime can actually fire an intercontinental ballistic missile with a nuclear warhead. The economic impact of international sanctions is starting to hit the regime. As figures show, the North's trade with China decreased by over 10 percent in November compared to last year, and total exports fell by almost 32 percent on year. The number of its overseas workers has also dropped. International humanitarian assistance for North Korea is on the decline, and several of its ambassadors have been expelled, which implies the regime is becoming further isolated. The unification ministry says the regime may seek a way out of its current state next year, and that's why the young North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's New Year speech next week will draw much attention. Kim Jong-un's New Year's speech lays out the regime's overall direction for domestic politics and the economy as well as for relations with other countries. There's a high possibility that Kim may declare the regime's completion of its nuclear weapons program and turn toward a peaceful dialogue with the surrounding countries. For the last two years, Pyongyang has been passive in interacting with Seoul, making no replies to Seoul's suggestion of military talks and Red Cross conferences. The unification ministry says it will pay close attention to whether the North will hint of a change to that through the upcoming New Year's speech. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.